Greetings, adventurers. I am Omnisai, your story weaver for this adventure. When we last left Dirk, he had attempted to enter the dungeon through a potentially less dangerous door. The guards made it clear that he was not going to be allowed to do that, but they did warn him that the door before him, which appears to be the grinning face of a demon, is trapped, but as long as he covers his hand with cloth, he should be safe. We pick up the story from here. Many thanks go to Amnusian The Escapist Club, who gave us our submission for this next leg of the story. The Escapist Club's directions. It occurs to Dirk that there may be a monster behind the door, ready to grab anyone coming through after being shocked. He prefers to avoid fighting as much as possible. So what to do? His plan is, one, knock loudly on the door. All right, Dirk. All right, here we go, Dirk Castelli. Last bard standing at the door, knocking. Right. Two, with a scrap of cloth over his off hand, he grasps the door handle and pulls open the door as fast as he can. Three, if something is there, he will pretend to flail for an instant. Then, as it comes at him, he will use all his physical skills to dodge around or maybe under it, even giving it a shove from behind if possible. Let those conscientious guards handle it. Dirk opens the door. There is no monster that leaps at him, so he does not have to dodge out of the way. Inside, he sees a mid-sized room with a single torch lighting it. Dark shadows cover the walls on either side, although there appears to be some sort of a structure to his right. His attention, however, is drawn to the occupant of the room. Standing about two feet tall, the creature is blue of skin, clad in very crude armor, and carrying a sword that looks as if it has seen much better days. Dirk searches through his memory and realizes that the creature is a gobmite, which is a nuisance creature found in the area, lesser even than the goblins themselves. Gobmites aren't known as having quite as much of a killer instinct as goblins do. They're generally considered to be pests, scavengers, but can be dangerous in numbers. They do have a kind of crafty cunning and a little bit more intelligence than goblins do, enough so to continue the appearance of being harmless for their own survival. A single gobmite, however, can be dangerous if backed into a corner. They are known to fight like rats. This particular gobmite looks at Dirk with a mixture of fear, uncertainty, and horror? Not quite the hideous monster I was expecting. Also from the Escapist Club. If nothing is there, or nothing of immediate danger, he'll run in and look for cover, then watch to see if anything shows up soon. Meanwhile, he'll study his surroundings. Dirk can swiftly get into the room. Moving off to the right, he heads towards the object which is only dimly illuminated. It appears to be some sort of a crude throne uh, made of carved stone, and the gobmites' glowing eyes follow him. Gobmites are known to be able to see in the dark very well, although their luminous eyes sometimes betray them in darkness. Dirk can be seen by the creature, and he has a certain amount of cover. The door slams shut behind him. 
What does Dirk do next? That is for you to decide. The God Might makes no initial motion, so the initiative is yours. Let us re-examine Dirk's character sheet. This is Dirk's character sheet. As you can see, his dice pool still contains two six-sided dice and three four-sided dice in his unspent pool. His spent die pool has his eight-sided die that he used trying to influence this scene by convincing the guards to allow him to go through a different door. So that one is no longer available to Dirk for the scene. In his gear dice, he still has the six-sided die and the four-sided die, which symbolizes the different pieces of gear that he has with him. These dice are still available for use throughout the scene. As a refresher, Dirk has a D8 in socializing, a D6 in sword skill, a D6 in humor, and a D6 in lore and history. He can draw upon any of those skills at the higher die value. Anything else, and he has to resort to the default of the four-sided dice.